Y'all know nothing about this. You need to pay attention. Sit back and relax. It's time for Good Dolls Country Kitchen. I'm in the heart of historic Middletown, and today I'm at the Cottage Cafe. I was here once before, did a review a couple years ago, had a bunch of screaming kids with me, wasn't in my right vibe, so I'm coming back to do it again. Got to cover a couple things first, though. First and foremost, I got to do a birthday shout out, 60th birthday to Kenneth Helm. His dad owns Holy Smokes Barbecue, known for those really good turkey wings and pork and all that stuff. So happy birthday to Kenneth. Also, a shout out again to Bill North, who continues his generosity toward my channel. Great guy, Bill. Also, I got a half a saw buck contribution from Unwashed Mind, who messaged me and gifted me on YouTube. Also, I've had a couple people lately that have basically been accusing me saying that I wear the same khaki shorts every day. Well, I hate to disappoint you today, but I got different shorts, but no, these are actually the same khaki shorts. They're just turned inside out, though I got the plaid underneath, so I can wear the same shorts every day. Also, I had a viewer who doesn't like my extended fork routine, so James1909, sorry, I'm not changing anything, and you don't have to watch if you don't want to, but the fork stays. Also. Thank you all. I just surpassed 4 million views last week. I got to thank all you supporters of the channel. I really appreciate the last four and a half years of the love and support that y'all have shown me. All right, I'm going to go in here. I know it's Meatloaf Wednesday, and I'm going to try some other things that I didn't get here the first time. Of course, they're known for their quality desserts, cakes, and pies, and there's even restaurants around Louisville that actually buy her desserts to serve in their restaurants. So anyway, enough of the chin music, we're going in. I just hope I don't bother you, because I'm going to be talking and eating. No, I don't care. She needs to be on camera. Well, I would love for you to be on camera. Okay, I got a couple desserts. I have not ordered my food yet, but when you come here, I want to give you a little tip. You have to order your dessert when you walk in the door because if you wait till after you're done eating, it's liable to be gone. So I got two desserts. I'm going to go ahead and show you what those are. I'm not going to eat them yet, but this is the pride and joy of Susan, the owner. This is her cheesecake. It's a vanilla cheesecake with a caramel sauce, pecans, and a chocolate ganache. I like the way that rolls off your tongue. Chocolate ganache. And this is my favorite, which is the coconut cream pie. Make sure you reserve your desserts. Okay, I'm gonna walk around. I'll be showing you all what this place looks like. It's a lot bigger than what you think it is. I've got the front dining room. You can people watch out there. Watch Old Main Street, Middletown. And you see, this is the big main room here. I've got my neighbors. I hope I don't disturb y'all too much today because I eat like a filthy animal. Just letting you know. <laughs> oh, and we got uh, some ladies here I was chatting to a minute ago. Oh my, looky there. She's going to show me her dessert. What do you got? It's a toffee chocolate. It looks like it's big enough to feed a family. I'm going to take it home Let's put it in the I won't watch, I won't video you eating the whole thing, so we'll just stick to that story that you're taking it all. Oh yeah, I was just telling them. You see over there I got my two desserts on the table already. I'm telling the viewers that if you don't order your dessert when you walk in you might not get any. It's that good. 
Did you all used to go to my parents' old restaurant, Goodall's yes. Country Store? Goodall's Country Store. Yes. yes. I've worked in some of this discredit. Okay. I thought you looked familiar. You know, okay. Well, and what did you all get to eat? I see you got leftovers there. I had to do a special today. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, there you go. If y'all were wondering if they serve enough here, well, there's your answer. And what'd you get? I didn't get here on hot brown day. I've never had their hot brown. Okay. All right. Well, thank you all for the input. Here's another dining room in here. This is the one when you first come in. And that's some of Susan, the owner's friends and co-workers. And you walk in the door. You, here's where you order your dessert. Actually, you don't have to order it here. You can order it from the server. But this is where I recommend, when as soon as you walk in the door, you just order your dessert first and say, hold me that slice. Because, you see, there's not much left. I think I showed these in the first video I did. They're deviled eggs, which they are world famous for the deviled eggs. Another thing they're really known for is their chicken salad, which when I was here before, I was saying the real chicken salad chick owns this place. So come here for chicken salad, too. All right. Now, of course, you know this video is being sponsored by Grace Hot Sauce. I travel with Grace. I got to put it on my eggs. You won't even need a double snapping turtle for this. I pulled the Captain Quint. Swallowed it whole. Now a word from my sponsor. Shop secondhand first with Peddler's Mall. New products are added daily by our vendors. Vintage, antiques, uniques, furniture, clothing, collectibles, crafts, gifts, oddities, home decor, and more. Hundreds of vendors in every location. You never know what you will find. Interested in becoming a vendor? Contact us today. 18 locations across Kentucky, Indiana, Ohio, and West Virginia. Open seven days a week. A taste of bacon, an onion. Mm. Hey. Seeing it's meatloaf Wednesday, had to get the meatloaf, but I'm going to do a different variation. You know how I like my meatloaf. I like it on a sandwich, so I ordered an extra side of bread. It comes with this uh, bun, but then I got my potato salad also and mashed potatoes and green beans. Can't get enough potatoes. More starch, the better. All right. And y'all know how I make the sandwich. Classic, good all style, mayonnaise and onion. When you go out to Convenient in Shelbyville to get that meatloaf sandwich out there, when you order, they just say, do you want it Barry's way? Because so many people have seen that meatloaf sandwich video there. All right. Thank you. And last but not least. And look, I still got another bite of meatloaf that I hadn't even put on it. So, so yeah, that's what I recommend. They got meatloaf sandwiches every day, but I didn't want to take chances. So I got the meatloaf dinner, so I can make my own sandwich. Mmm. Burmese python. Double snapping turtle move. Now look at that mashed potatoes. Mm. Put some kind of gravy on there, I think. 
Either that or it's drippings off my meatloaf. But anyway, that's good too. Mm. Green beans. Don't accuse me of trying to be healthy here. Even the green beans are great. And a little dinner roll. I just saw uh, Susan, the owner, and I verified that is the drippings from the meatloaf for the gravy. That's awesome. And also, before I forget, April 1st, April Fool's Day, will be their 32nd anniversary. They've been open here. And by the way, if you didn't see the first video I did here, this shares the driveway with my parents' old antique store next door, the old Piercy House antique store. So it's now a salon, but this is a perfect place to stop and eat lunch if you're like going shopping and going to the different uh, little stores, boutiques and consignment shops around here. So make sure when you come to Historic Middletown, when you're planning your day, you plan to do lunch here at the Cottage Cafe. Still working on these, but I'm going to set these out of the way for now. You know I ain't going to waste those mashed potatoes with meatloaf drippings in them. All right, so I got another house specialty. It is the pimento cheeseburger. Comes with the lettuce, tomato, red onion, and it looks like some kind of chipotle sauce on the side. I'm not going to use that. I tell you what, I'm going to use the rest of this Hellman's extra thick mayonnaise. And look at that pimento cheese just oozing off of it. Of course, homemade pimento cheese. And I believe that's a half pound burger patty. Could be a third of a pound, not sure. Mmm. Mmm. Comes with potato salad or chips. Of course, you know I went for the potato salad. I got really good homemade potato salad. Mm. And of course, kosher pickle. Burger's got a great taste to it. Definitely not a frozen patty, I can promise you that. Juicy and has wonderful flavor. I've pretty much done this whole review with my head cut off, so I apologize for that. Oh, thank you. Oh, believe me, I wasn't gonna leave here without it. I travel everywhere with grace. Thank you. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and try Susan's favorite signature dish, the vanilla cheesecake with that chocolate grommage. But you know what? I'm not a big cheesecake fan. I did have the cheesecake at Farm Kitchen one time, and that was the best I'd ever had. So let me try this. Mmm. The first thing that hit my palate was that caramel sauce. And even though I'm not big into like pecans or anything, those give it a nice added crunch and flavor. Mmm. I just now thought. Being that my head's cut off the whole video, y'all missed all those double and triple snapping turtle moves I pulled on that meatloaf and pimento cheeseburger. Mm. This is wonderful. 
the vanilla cheesecake is melt in your mouth. Coconut cream. So good. It's got shavings of coconut, fresh coconut over the top. And that homemade pie crust. Wash it down with an ice cold glass of milk. Before I get out of here, I want to show you this is Susan's family here. Great grandma. Grandma and grandma is where all her recipes come from for all of her desserts. But Susan said this was her favorite memories of being at that table. And she's even got some of those same dishes to this day and some of the furniture in that room. But she said there's nothing more that you could show love than being together, eating a great meal with your family. And that's just awesome that her grandmother right here. Uh, all these cake recipes came from there. Uh, how old does that go back? Well, you say was, your grandma would have been. She was born in something? 1898. Oh, okay. And her sister Ella, and my great grandmother, who was born in 1870, they all. Now, cooked. did did she get the recipes from? Is some that her them, mother? Okay. Some of them, and some of them was just the instinct to know. Once you've mastered this baking, you can. I think this would go well, or this would be good, or we have this on hand, and it was just mm -hmm. an art form. Homemade yeast rolls, oh, <laughs> you know. Oh yeah. Good old Germans, you know. Wow. I loved them. Hundred year old cake recipes. That's where it came from. Right there, Grandma. Right. Everything's wonderful. Susan, the owner, she has a great staff here. They just make everything taste that much better because of the warm, friendly atmosphere that they give you. You see over here, my parents' old antique store, the old Goodalls Piercy House Antiques. Which, by the way, I think I said in the first video, the place is haunted. My dad gets mad when I tell people that, but I had an experience here one time. If you ever see me out, I'll tell you the story about it. You see the sign over here. They're closed on Sundays and Mondays, and they're open from 11 to 2.30. So it's a lunchtime spot. Plan your visit. Come visit Historic Middletown. Order your desserts first. Thank you for the 4 million views. I love you all. You all have really pulled through in the last year and gotten me through some dark days. And I just want to let you all know how much I appreciate it. I also want to apologize for that miserably failed heat challenge I did at Taco Choza. I know you all have seen that video. If you haven't, go back and look up the last video because that flatline hot sauce just about put me in the hospital. I will never do that again, I promise. And now, y'all don't know nothing about this Cottage Cafe. Now you know the facts of why I'm on a mission. You're always welcome back to Goodall's Country Kitchen.